The second one was Kevin McHale. Noted that one in the middle. Roby would have had a good chance to get an easy two. And here comes the rookie from the University of Minnesota, Kevin McHale. Heard here. Inside McHale. Kevin wants it. Good fake. Got two. Kevin McHale, is, is, was, as a rookie, established that he could play both forward and center, better at forward, quite frankly, but uh, and and, be, uh, and be, play, be an effective center when needed. But he would, but just do keep in mind that Bill Fitch, uh, when he was in his bad mood in 1983, after the team was swept by the Bucks, did say, "quote If Kevin McHale had to make a living in the center, he'd starve." Well, that was that was mean and cool, and that was typical Bill. I love Bill, by the way, but he had that side in him. Uh, Kevin, he, he, he decided he felt that Kevin was much better as a forward. He was okay as a center, but he was unstoppable, unguardable as a forward. God isn't their problem. They obviously need consistent inside help because we right. The best low post man, other than I have to give Kareem his due, uh, you know, other than Kareem Abdul Jabbar, or in addition to, to Kareem Abdul Jabbar, of the last 50 years, the best low post man unequivocally was, and, and, and technician in the, in the low post, was Kevin McHale. And he had more moves than Kareem. Kareem had the, 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 the hook, the great inimitable sky hook, and a little turnaround jumper. McHale had, he could post up on either box, turn to his right, turn to his left, had up and under moves, stutter step moves. Had a, had a variety of moves, and which Ruby Brown labeled once his bank vault of moves, quote unquote. Um, he he was temperamentally suited to come off the bench. It didn't bother him. He knew he was going to get the big minutes. McHale over him. Make it 10-6. Gamble. Back to Bird. The clock's at 7. McHale with a dotted line turn and gun. He Kevin shows a lot of moves. Jimmy's got to knock him off that close area. He's got to get him off the block area. McHale wants it low inside. Great pass to Bird, who cut to the hole inside. McHale against Buda. The jump hook, and he hit it. But the Celtics already have it. Who's knew he was going to be on the floor at the end? And 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 he gave the Celtics a, 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 a lift. Uh, was the best big man, uh, the best six man in the league. Uh, the whole time he was doing playing six man. credit to hard playing basketball. which ended at the 85-86 season after Cresic Maxwell was traded to LA and Kevin became a full-time starter. Uh, the team could no longer afford that luxury of bringing him off the bench. They needed him in the ball game uh, for 40 minutes and that's what they would get. So Kevin McHale's assets though go far beyond just scoring. 6'11 uh, defensively, I, I, can, I can name or recall because he guarded everybody from 6'4 guys up to Ralph Sampson at 7'4". Uh, he was the guy that they asked to guard Dominic Wilkins. He's the guy who was asked uh, at to guard Julia Serving. He, he he guarded small forwards. He guarded big forwards. He guarded centers, and and he had uh, he wasn't the quickest guy in the world, but he had good quick feet and he had extraordinary uh, 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 length of arms. A ring span was enormous with his great long arms, and he had intelligence. Uh, he knew how to play and he had great timing as a, as a shot blocker. Of course, his first great moment that people remember as a shot blocker was in game six in 1981 down in Philly when he blocked Andrew Tony's shot uh, late, late, late in the game and, and retrieved the ball off the backboard. Uh, that's the first signature shot block that people know, though he probably did have good blocks before that. I remember him taking care of guys like Dan Roundfield when, when he was at his peak uh, and, and, and shutting him down. Um, so Mikhail, fine. There was that was his role, uh, and and but once once uh, the eighty five eighty six came, he became a starter, and 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 that was that as far as being a six man. Grand slams, no hitters, and double plays are back, and there's no better place to get in on the MLB action than FanDuel, America's number one sports book and official partner of Major League Baseball. And new customers in Mass can get in on the action with two hundred dollars in bonus bets. Guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. And sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston. Finally, you can bet on all your favorite sports from the money line to point spreads to player props and more. 
So bet now on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. Don't miss your chance to get $200 in bonus bets. Win or lose, visit FanDuel.com slash Boston and make every moment more. FanDuel, 